Hey everyone, Trina here, back with another mixed media art tutorial. Today I'm working on some hot pressed Arsh paper and I'm just going to do a quick little uh, fun little exercise in mark making. Here I'm using a black marker going in just creating lines and textures um, just to get warmed up, just to get loosened up before we start painting. I'm going in with my Higgins marker here, seeing what kind of lines I can make with that. The idea here is to just be creative without thinking. bits of this into with the brayer and rubbing on the back and you can see it's kind of working. Wasn't terribly happy with the results of this. So we're just going to keep making some marks here and see if we can get it to do something. Ultimately I decide to just paint in the stencil rather than using it with the brayer because I think it actually worked better for what I was trying to do which is really just get some white marks some big solid marks so I'm going to add in just going to take the stencil and we're just going to paint into the middle of it and if you haven't seen how I made this stencil I'll post a link to it it's a real quick short video um, basically just using hot glue and making um, some shapes and stencils out of that. So I'm liking these little marks here. It's kind of adding a bit more of the white. And this is the titanium white, so it's very opaque. It's going to cover up some of the marks, but I'm okay with that. I just want to add in some pops of white. See where we're going with this. I'm going to let this dry and come back and we're going to go in with our nickel azo gold and create some colors and you can see I'm adding some white in here to make it sort of a little bit more opaque and a little bit lighter. Adding in some black to make us kind of this cool brown orangey color. And it's really kind of amazing how many different colors you can make with just one color and black and white. 
Um, so I'm going to add these colors in to the piece. I really like this color. It's sort of a greeny gold. Let me see I've already got like five colors there that are different. Here's my paper stencil that I just cut out. I'm going to add in some bigger blocks of this color in places. And I kind of like how not filling it all in, just sort of having it be a little bit transparent in some areas is kind of fun. And again, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I just started painting and that usually is enough to get me out of a rut. Like if I just start throwing paint around and playing with my supplies, I end up making usually something that I like. Right now this is a bit chaotic and I don't know where it's going. Um, I do love that orange color. And then we're just gonna add some of that in without the white and just a little watered down because then it get it's still transparent. Um, these golden fluid acrylics are mostly all transparent. Uh, in my mind right now, I want to add in some blue, but I'm trying to really stick with my two co one color palette here, um, which is part of the challenge. It's just a really hard thing for me to do because I really want to add in a bunch of color. So here's some more of the um, Azo Gold that better. Now it feels bold to me. We've got some really good marks and lines going in there and it really needed something in there to break. That white was not working. I feel like I have a bit of a circle thing going on here. Um, so now I'm going back in with a gold pastel to try and bring in some looser lines and some more pattern um, and give it just a little bit more oomph. It's still in the color palette, so I don't think that's technically cheating. I was about to add yellow okra, but I decided not to. This is really hard for me, guys. This is really hard for me to stick with this color palette because um, I really wanted to put blue in there. 
So I'm going to add in a bit of the scrappy tint 